Okay, guys, welcome back to TFC. My name is Niestro, and check this out. So, uh, since we planted all of these around the same time, they all just simultaneously sprouted up another trunk. So now we have two high fruit trees. Um, I actually didn't notice until just now, and I went to start recording, and voila, we have two high trunks. So uh, someone asked me to show the calendar. It is the 14th of May, 1000, apparently. That's cool, I like that. And it is 14 degrees Celsius outside. And uh, today, we're gonna be hopefully making some steel. Now, as you know, we did find a massive vein of limonite the other day. Um, I've gone ahead and just to speed up the process, uh, gone through and did the bloomery for a large quantity of it. And... Now we are going to attempt to get um, the alloy steel. So um, I actually made some of these into ingots thinking that you needed to like weld them together or something, but no, it's an alloy table thing. So we're just going to go ahead and back them back into this. So as soon as these turn liquid, we will be able to do that. So yeah, um, that charcoal pit Man, I really, I'm, um, I still haven't given myself that redstone chest from the old world like I plan to eventually. But this thing, man, it is hard for me to sit here and watch the charcoal. But if I don't, I end up being away for longer than five minutes, and it finishes, throws all the charcoal on the ground, and I lose the charcoal. So I've had a few successful runs though with that. Um, eventually, I'll finish making this. It'll be bigger. Um, but yeah, for now, this thing is kind of annoying. Um, these, when it finishes, I don't think it triggers block updates. So I was thinking that I might be able to rig some sort of redstone setup that, uh, I can use a block update detector to tell me whenever my charcoal's done, because there's literally like no indication besides looking in that window right there to see if it's done, but uh, I'll have to give myself some redstone. But like I said, I don't think it triggers an update, so it might not be even possible. So who knows? Who knows? Yeah. But as you can see, I did get some more charcoal. Um, it actually takes quite a bit of charcoal to, to get that much, um, that much, that amount of limonite done. So this is brilliant white, white. Put that down there. Um, the thing is we actually need wrought iron, so we should probably work this. And throw that in there. Um, now we have a wrought iron that we can throw in there. These chickens are really obnoxious. Um, someone suggested that we should make a chicken pen, and I just kind of like idly toss the idea aside because I want them to be here. But I'm starting to get really annoyed by them, so maybe that is a good idea. Who knows? So yeah, in order to make uh, the steel, you need three wrought iron and one pig iron. And now we have almost done that. Now these just need to finish melting. We should be good. Oh, what happened to all my ceramic molds? Oh, that's what happened. There used to be a bug that the ceramic molds wouldn't be used up. As long as you had them in there, you would still get a ceramic mold back. Apparently they fixed that. Um, why, why? All right, we getting there. Okay, so anyway, I harvested like a crap ton of trees from over there for the charcoal and actually broke my other scythe. I had to make a new one. But yeah, I'll show you my chest full of sticks later on. You will be impressed. <laughs> it is a crazy amount of sticks. How did that one cool off? It was definitely liquid white before. Really white, white. Okay, now we have unshaped, but it's not turning liquid for some reason. That one's actually cooling off. Do I really need to put a bellows here right now? Give me this bellows. Uh, I hate doing this, man. I hate doing this, but it looks like it must be done. Because I don't think it's actually getting hot enough. I don't think they're turning liquid. So, um, Like, wrought iron actually has to be brilliant white in order to be full-on liquid, so. I'm gonna wipe 
and what? All right, here we go. We'll hit this a couple more times. Get ready to ninja it, and boom. Ah, uh, that one's not. Dang it. Get back in there. Pick those up. Put them back. Ah. I hate, I hate doing this stuff so much. All right, really want liquid. Really want liquid. Just keep pumping it. Just keep pumping it. And then, boom. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yes, done. Okay, awesome. Uh, that's done. Now we can throw some more in. Um, yeah, we actually have quite a bit of this stuff. No worries now. We have the highest tier stuff until we get more alloys, so that's cool and whatnot. So now we, uh, the next goal is obviously going to be to move on to uh, the steel, a steel um, anvil, because right now we're working on wrought iron. We'll be able to add another anvil to our collection. Yes, it's going to be awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much never ever going to use those sluices again, just so you know. Until the until gems get patched in, I'm never going to use that. Wait. All right, let's work some of this. Nice. Now, what should we make? We should go for double ingots, I guess. So that would mean putting that in. And then that. Oh, they're not hot enough. No! You! Get in there. Yeah, we'll have to wait for those to heat up anyway. Okay, that one's white, that one's white. Heat up faster. Man, this mod requires a ton of multitasking. Alright. Weld! Dang it. Still not hot enough. I'm gonna put them in the bottom slots. That one's yellow white. That one should be up there. There you go. I just gotta go further. That one's good. Is this one good? All right. Go, 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 go. Weld. You can't weld high carbon steel. Do I have to work it again? I do. Interesting. Now I have steel. Awesome. Okay. A lot of hammer usage on this stuff, huh? Now we have steel. Alright, awesome. Now those can go back in. Oh. Alright, yeah, they actually do need heated up. Why did all the coal from this side go first? Weird. Um. Um. Yellow, yellow. Metallurgy, why do you haunt me so? All right, but we are moving up the chain. We are making progress, and I'm proud of us right now. All right, here we go. Unshaped high carbon steel. Should we take a nap, or would that be too sketchy? All right, toss that in there. Okay, one more time. Ah, I messed it up. Alright, steel. Give me that. I can put these back in now. And that. Bring those down. I had another one, right? Where's the other thing at? Unshaped rod iron. And then this. I was gonna say, can I actually work it right now? Because that would make zero sense. That's gonna need to go back in. And that is still liquid. Yeah, we're definitely building a pen for these guys this episode. They are obnoxious as all heck right now. Alright. Still burning away. I think it actually cools down faster in here. White. Brilliant white. Okay, one more time. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't reset it, that's why. Uh, hit, and then steal, and then steal, and then steal, and then...
flux spells. Boom. Two down. Couple to go. All right. So now that you guys have seen that uh, that many, I think it's I think we're good on skipping to the rest. You guys have seen two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and make five more, and then after that, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe we'll make our chicken pen thing or whatever. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, whenever I finish making the double ingots. Alright guys, it's the moment of truth. Here we go. And... On to the next one. Let's go. Steel anvil all the way. Alright, so we've been steadily progressing. It's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. And now we can go add this one to our collection if we so desire. They really need to fix that. The chicken hitbox is too high, so whenever you try and click like a door above them, it still like registers as you hitting the chicken. So, kind of obnoxious, but anyway, here is our next anvil, right there. And then once we get, hmm, are we at the top? I don't even know. I know that steel is like the highest level, but then there's like black steel and blue steel and red steel. I don't think any of those are actually necessary as anvils though. I think you can work anything on a steel anvil. So, should be set as far as that goes. Um, maybe I'll make another set of the alloy right here on camera, just for kicks. This is basically what I've been doing for the past however long. Just make that, go back in, grab another one. Do the same deal. And then again. Toss that back in. And then one more. That's not ready yet, so you switch it with that one. And you grab it when it's yellow. Throw it in there. Boom. And then you do that. And then once those are all liquid, you can uh, make your alloy. So now, I even made a couple extra, so if we wanted to make tools, we could, but I'm not. I don't really think we need to. I think we have all the tools we need right now, so. I'll do this some other time. Those I don't really care about right now. Um, so let's go ahead and go to sleep. No chicken. My house. And then. Ah, I wanted to eat in bed. No! Eat your. Eat your noms. There we go. I have so many eggs. Okay, so um, I was thinking I, I have an idea for this thing, but I first off I need to decide where I want to put it. So all the dying zombies and skeletons. They don't care. <laughs> By the way, I think cocoa trees are broken. Cacao trees. I have no idea. I think they're broken though because everything else is growing great and those guys are doing absolutely nothing. So, Plus I have yet, oh jeez my mouse is messed up, I have yet to see any of these actually have any fruit on it yet, so. Aww, are you mad? You can't get out, can you? You don't even know. You think you're inside a solid block, but you're not. Are you hostile? No you're not. Oh he is. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm nudging you. <laughs> Alright, back to the task at hand, the uh, the chicken egg farm. So, um, let's think about this here. We can... Mm, I know exactly how I want to build it, I'm just trying to think of where I should build it because it's not exactly the prettiest structure I've ever seen so maybe if we put it there's another spider over here why are you guys being obnoxious um maybe right here do I have a shovel wrought iron shovel okay I think it would be three three wide so that would be a little bit off but mm. It shouldn't be too far away, so this isn't actually that. Let's go with here. So, I'll dig out this space. And then, we should probably, I'll definitely need that glass, but I want um, some brick. So 
So let's go grab some brick. Went of our fancy new storage room. Yes. Alright. That is... Okay, here's our rocks. Limestone brick as usual. And then maybe we'll grab some more rocks just in case. Chisel. Okay. Alright. So we're going to build this out of bricks and glass. I think we'll need our hammer so we can chisel some stone. All right, now let's make ourselves a chicken farm or a chicken egg farm we'll like. Ooh, you know what else we'll need? We will need um, a bucket. So I didn't know you could place torches on bloomeries. That's hilarious. What did I do? Put it on the ladder? Oh, that's funny. That means you could probably put like redstone and stuff on them as well. Not that that's like a really big deal or anything. I'm just saying. It's a possibility. So yeah, I still gotta edit in the redstone so I can do stuff with that. I can even make like shears now. If so, if I find sheep, they'll actually be useful. I forget what I came down here for. Buckets? Buckets? Was that what I was looking for? I think they're in here. Yeah, I need one bucket. Okay. Um, we'll head over to our sluices to check out, uh, just to grab some water. Probably never ever going to use those things again now that I have that mega vein. Um, I can make pretty much whatever I want at this point. Besides the fancy alloys you need for red steel or whatever the other blue steel. I don't even know what steels there are. Okay, so give me that and I'm out of here. And then, what else do we need? We will need a sign. I can't wait for Terra Firmacraft to be in 1.3, if I'm honest, because 1.3 is kind of amazing. I don't know how many of you have actually like checked out the new changes or anything, but like especially like the tightening up of stuff in SMP. Like, for example, you can now see someone else's um, block breaking animation. So like. Like, you know how before it would just see like they were just breaking the blocks, you wouldn't be able to tell that they were breaking the blocks? But now you can. Oh, that is a weird sign texture. Okay, interesting. Uh, you can also see if someone else's item is enchanted. You used to not be able to do that either. Um, yeah, so that's cool. But, back to the chicken farm at hand. I got distracted by 1.3. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that uh, last weekend, the reason I didn't upload anything is just because I needed a break, so that's why. So this thing doesn't actually need to be that large. Let's dig out this as well. Okay. Throw the brick in here. There would be... Okay, right there. And then maybe here. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. I mean, that's... Okay, that that was weird. Let's try that again. Hold up, wait a minute. How did I do that? What? <laughs> How did I do that? I don't know, I don't know. It's broken, apparently, in some cases, but all better now. All better now. Okay. And then here, there would be glass, I'm thinking. Not 100% on that. And then the water. And then more glass. And then maybe that. But I'm going to have to chisel away a little bit of it. So actually, let's break this. Oh, that was a bad idea. No, I lost all of my water. No, pick it up. Pick it up. See, that's what I don't like about finite water. It's not even finite water. It's just water that disappears if you spread it out. I do not like that, Sam I am. <laughs> All right, slabs, one, two, three. Oh, can I reach it? Four. Uh, I'm gonna have to break another piece, aren't I? See, that might be enough though, is the thing. All right, you know what? We have to leave the chickens in anyway, so. You got you guys. Uh, I, you might already have the idea of what I'm doing. I don't know, but we need to go grab more water because finite water sucks. 
Like, I'm all for Terra Firma Craft's, like, mega ultra changes, but finite water is kind of lame. It make it limits you so much, especially, like, if you want to do stuff with redstone and water, you just can't, because it's not even, like, viable. Because if you... you can't have source blocks anymore, so it's like, what's the point? I'm still trying to figure out a way to move... Like, you can move source blocks using sluices, um, but that's only downhill, so... We'll put the water in last, I think. Hmm, can we put the water in last? I don't know. Let's do this. Can I? I don't... Hmm. Okay, if I put... Let's just go ahead and throw down the glass and the water, and we'll try and leave the chickens in here. I don't think they'll be able to get out. This is my emergency wheat for whenever they escape. But now they finally get to leave, only to be trapped in a much more enclosed area. So, come here, chickens. I have a terrible home for you to stay in. Let's go. I'm leading the pack. Come at me, bros. Up the, up the, up the stairs. Come on. I built this for you. You see this? This is your new apartment. All of you are gonna live in here like a lovely family. A lovely family. Okay. All right. Just come over here. Just come over here and just kind of just just kind of fall in there. Just kind of get in the glass right there. There you go. There you go. Just come on. Come on. Oh, you guys are being a little tough about this. There you go. There's one. There's one down. And come on. Get in there. Get in there, man. Get in there. Oh, you guys are going to make this difficult, huh? What if I do this? And then this? Will you guys be stupid enough to wander in? Come on. Get in the water. Come out. Come out. How about if I get in the... Did you seriously just pop out an egg right here? This is not the time, chicken. This is not the time. I think I might have to get in the water. Yeah, I think I will. That actually is fine, though, because I'll be able to get out through the bottom. Come here. I can't even get in because of the chickens. Uh, stupid too high hitbox. Jump! Jump in! Jump in! Come on. Sprint! Yes! Come here, chickens. Dang it, you're not as stupid as I thought. Okay, maybe if I jump in and then, like, try and float. Eh. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, all right, I'll be back. I'll I'll cut back to whenever I find a way to get these guys in the freaking in the hole. All right, all right. So I had an idea, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my stick collection. All right, so as a lot of people know, um, signs count as a full block, um, but they're not a full block. They're a transparent block that can be traversed through uh, without difficulty and mobs don't actually recognize that it is a like a transparent block so they will unknowingly walk through signs and such so if I try and put this here and then the sign here it might help me get the animals in I did manage to get one more chicken in but that's not that's it will it'll be harder with only like one or two so now maybe if I try this now they still seem to be skirting it like it's a full block oh no 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 no! I placed it wrong I know what I did wrong please do not knock me into the hole chickens so this is what I did wrong this the sign actually needs to be inside the hole whoops oh but I can't place it because the chickens down there are being a bunch of dumbs dang it okay if I do this though and then do this Place that and that. God, these things lay eggs like crazy. Okay, so now when I pull out the wheat. Here, chicken, chickens. Where's the other guy? Chicken! Stop being a dumb and get up here. Alright. Cool, we're making progress here. So now if I bring them over here, they'll walk across the hole thinking it's a full block, and boom. And. Come here. Boom. Done. Easy as pie. So now, the only thing left to do is actually place a block here, 
to attempt to stop from swimming like mad. Only I can't because of the stupid female male thing, so I might have to do something special here. Mm. Perhaps a gravel trick would work. Okay, so if I place, since there's a sign down there, here, let me try something. Do I have any cobble on me? No. Alright, let's go get some rocks. And I'm gonna try another trick to get this to work. It might be a little bit difficult. It might be a little bit difficult. Very difficult. I actually, I hate the too, the too high hitbox on the chickens. It's really obnoxious. Um, here's my stone. Give me some rocks. Not that many rocks. And some sticks. Not that many sticks. And I'm gonna make a lever. Okay. So since that trick was pretty easy to actually get the chickens into the hole, I'm not that worried about taking them out of it for a minute so I can do something else. Um, so let me think about this. This thing actually doesn't look that ugly. The problem I'm working on right now is getting them to stop swimming, in case you were wondering. So let's actually go down below and take out the water so that the chickens are free to go wherever they please. Look, we already got an egg down here. And they'll just float down, like a bunch of noodles. And then, all right, so, oh, you know what I could try? I could try making a piston. Hold up, guys, I'm gonna look up the, well, I don't know, if it's wrought iron, then it shouldn't need, I'm gonna give myself my redstone though, so I am gonna have to cut, um, because I do want my redstone to try something for this right now, so. Um, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the chest when it's done. It should have the exact same amount of redstone in it. I'm going to look at the footage from the episode before we moved. So uh, I'll be back with that. All right, guys. So um, I gave myself the redstone. Uh, unfortunately, I looked back on the footage and I couldn't actually find the exact clip where I looked um, in my redstone chest. So I know it was like a little less than half of a vanilla double chest. So I'm thinking that's about this much, but if you have like beef with this, if you got a problem with this, then leave a comment and I'll get rid of some of it. I love redstone though, so um, I hope this isn't an issue. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like um, pistons are actually in TFC, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to do some ghetto way of getting them, as in like A, uh, deleting a certain amount of materials using TMI and then spawning in a piston or yeah I think that's actually the only way I could possibly do this um, I'm gonna have to designate myself a recipe for pistons because pistons are not in the game yet so what I was thinking was um, one wrought iron because it's an iron ingot it's not steel in vanilla um, two rocks of any kind, uh, a redstone, obviously, and then three wood blocks, okay? So not, not the planks. So, um, so there's the wrought iron ingot. Um, a piston, I think it would look like this if it was in the game. Um, it would look like this. Uh, either that or this. I, I can't remember. It's one of those. That's the way you make a piston in uh, Minecraft. But um, since that's not in the game, I'm going to delete this, two rocks, and a redstone, and this iron. Um, I'm going to delete these things, and you guys will bear witness. Um, and I'm going to spawn myself a piston, because I, I want it for this project. So, hope you guys don't mind. Um, let's throw that on the ground and then just kind of find a piston in here. I don't actually use this very often, so I'm just kind of looking around here. That's a piston. Okay. I don't even know if slimes are still in the game. I hope they are, because slimes are kind of amazing. Oh, I forgot to delete the stuff. Sorry. Let's go ahead and do that. Go to delete mode, and we'll delete the wood, the rock, the redstone, and the iron. So now I have effectively created a piston using ghetto stuff. And I'm going to use this in order to finish the chicken farm. Uh, so we were having issues placing a block because of the chicken's too high uh, 
thing in my bob. So, actually, where are the chickens? Are they all still up here? What's up, guys? I just want to lure you in a little bit so you don't wander off too far. Here, chicken. Come here. Okay, you guys just chill. Ah, oh, crap. I wasted my wheat. God dang it. I do that a lot, actually, now. On accident. I need to keep my wheat up here because running down and getting it, it just wastes more time. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to use a piston to push the block where I couldn't place it before because of their too high... Um... Oh, that was completely stupid. Okay. Because of their too high um, hitbox. So now it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, now if I feed one of them the wheat by accident, um, they won't... I'll still have a wheat. So get back here, chickens. Stop wandering. That chicken really likes that hillside. All right, come here, dude. So, I can place the water again. Oh, that would be above the sign. And then the chickens would fall in to this thing. Hold up, I gotta test something first. Can you push? I'm fairly certain that this will this will this will work. But um, can you push that? Okay. Now the real question is, can you push this? As I awkwardly organize my inventory to demonstrate what I was going to try and do. Now, can you push this? You can't. Okay. I, th I thought that might be the case, just because uh, oftentimes blocks that are edited like that one is cannot be pushed, so good to know. Um, so now, I'm going to use the piston to push a block. Um, gets my shovel right back here. The block would go just above the water, so right here. This would go here. The piston would go here. Let's see if I can actually manage this. Yeah. Yes. All right. And then I'll put the lever, like, oops, like here. Okay. Now I can lead the chickens in, and they should be. I should be able to push the block over, and hopefully they don't suffocate. That might actually be an issue. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and edit the block. Maybe if I put, okay, this is, this is stretching the limits here, but I'm going to put a sign. Ah, why did I do that? No, freaking finite water. I hate you so much. Okay. I'm going to put a sign here right there. Okay. It's going to hold the water back and the chicken shouldn't get any ideas of going through there. Um, why are you guys wandering away? Come back here. Come back here. Well, they shouldn't go too far, whatever. Okay, so this is actually turning out to be really challenging just because of the unruliness of farm animals. All right, I probably should have set it up completely for it. completely. Uh, I didn't do much, I didn't do any planning like off camera or anything. This was all like spontaneous. Um, I knew what I was gonna build, but that's about it. Okay, so now we have water again. All right, that thing actually doesn't look that bad. It kind of fits with the bloomery ideal. I might even keep that top structure that's not even that great looking. All right, chickens. I'm gonna leave you in the dust, chickens. Leave you in the dust. All right, put the water in. Put the water in right there. Get the chickens. Why do you want to go over there, chicken? I don't understand your fascination with this hillside. All right, this way. Follow me, minions. Follow me. Come on. That block's bothering me. Don't wander away, chickens. I have the wheat. I have the wheat. Don't get distracted. I have the wheat. Let's go. I tell them not to get distracted from the guy that just got distracted trying to fix the, the brick. Okay. Oh, I removed the sign. No! Dang it! Get in the hole. I don't even care. Just get in the hole, dude. Just get in the hole. Get in the hole. Yes. Now you get in the hole. Go. Why, why is this suddenly so easy? Is it the block height difference? Is that what's doing it? I don't know. Whatever. Alright. I'm going to see if this suffocates them. I really want them to stop swimming, though. That's why I'm trying to do this right now. You know what? You know what? I, it's not worth the risk. Hold on. 
I will do the other idea that I had. Okay, other idea, commence. I really don't, I don't want them to die, so that's, we're gonna do this instead. We'll do a wooden half slab instead of a stone half slab. I'm trying to get them to stop hopping up and down and making really loud squishy sloshy noises that are really obnoxious. So this is what our solution is, is putting a half slab so that they have room to breathe, but not necessarily to swim. So here we go. I dug the hole out on the other side. Okay. Okay, this might be an issue. All right. Five is that key, okay. Oh, two. Okay, hold up. Uh, ah! Yes! It's the wrong side. Crap. All right. Yes! All right, perfect. Now I can place the piston down again. Why did this... This project is being really difficult, unreasonably. All right, so... Now I actually should place a block on top of that so that if they, so that they can't hop up on top of it. So now, lock here. Oh, I forgot about that. That was the issue. I gotta use the piston again. Dang it. Why does everything gotta be so challenging for you guys? Oh, they better not be able to hop out once I do this. Okay. Piston. Yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Maybe if I go like up top. Okay. Uh, of course that would be the way it would face. I don't know how to do this. No. No. All right, break this block. And back up. Freaking, no. Why? Go properly in the designated space. Move forward a little bit. There we go. Now we can put the airlock down. I have to grab the lever. Right there. Airlock. Airlock is done. Lever there. Pick up the piston. And the final step. Ah, oh, they're still swimming really loudly. Dang it. I thought for sure that would work. Darn it, I thought for sure that would work. I've been had. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, you know what I could do? Maybe I could drain... Can't you guys just swim constantly? Alright, whatever. This is, this is the final product. This is what we're sticking with. I don't even care. If you guys have any suggestions on this, you can, you can tell me in the comment section below. Uh, but for now, this is what we're sticking with. Don't even care at this point. Glass can go there, whatever. Hillside. Um, let's see how this bad boy looks right now. We're gonna need some brick. Hole is right there. Let's actually get rid of these. I doubt I'm going to find any more chickens anytime soon, so it's okay that the hole is blocked off because of the airlock. Um, it's fine. Let's see how this thing looks, though. Look at them eggs, man! There you go. Now, as long as we're 16 blocks away, which is basically my living space, this should work fine, so... Now, if we go like this... Oops. We'll go ahead and throw some torches down. Maybe up on top as well. I think it looks cool. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about how it looks and stuff in the comments. Uh, or if you have any improvements on the design. Um, so now we have a chicken pen. One that we don't have to actually be next to the chickens. So now we just walk in and grab our eggs. How's it feel, chicken, to know that you'll never escape? And it should be fairly easy to add new chickens to it as well. So now the only... Woo, okay, all right. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to check how long I've been recording, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, though. Uh, pretty pretty good pretty good episode so far. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode, because now we're at 40 minutes. The, the timer count is 40 minutes, so I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this as much as I did. But 
I'm I'm gonna have to leave you guys now uh, for other things. But uh, this episode was pretty pretty great, pretty great, no big deal. We built a chicken thing, I guess, and we moved on to steel, which looks a lot like stone, but no matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed making it, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.